Hi there and welcome to this Optimize Press Clubhouse video. Today we're looking at a template called Style. And you can see it here on the screen. The first thing about this template is the background image that we've used. It's very powerful. It's a beautiful scenery shot looking out above the clouds. And if you scroll on this page, you can see the image actually is fixed in place. So it stays there when you scroll. The first thing of this template we've included is this transparent box which sits here aligned slightly to the right so it's off center and we've used a darker transparent background color so you can still see the image through the featured box area. Now the template font that we're using throughout is the railway font and it's used in some of the paragraph and some of the text blocks throughout the page but first of all you can see we've got a simple headline and then a supporting headline which would be a small short paragraph and then in the blue font we've used the watch this video icon and this button below here. Now when we click on the button this opens up the overlay optimizer. Inside that we include a video, something telling people about your product or whatever the product is you're selling or whatever the offer is that you are selling you can include inside this video page and you could also have a get started now that could link directly straight through to your shopping cart page. Remember not everyone wants to read a sales page they'll happily click through and go to the shopping cart page and hopefully place an order or just see the price of the product. So you could choose to have that there or take that out if you wanted. As always everything is customizable on this page. You can see as we scroll down this transparent row here we've included and then we've got the four icons or the four logos inside it. So if you have companies that are using your products grab their logos if you can and put them on your sales pages. All this can help towards the conversions or increasing opt-ins if it is an opt-in form. This uh, template itself has got this little tiny arrow as well here. Now this arrow is positioned again in another separate row and supplied with zero padding. We can take a look at that in a second. Going further down we've got a lovely blue color here with these icons as well, the custom icons and this blue font, well it matches the blue font that's used further down the page as well as the blue buttons. And you can switch these around, move them different order, even change some of the fonting style and colors as well if you wanted to. Going further down we then come into the social proof section. So you've got the testimonial above, then a picture and the name of the person. Now you could also use this as rather than testimonials, this could be images of yourself or the people who have created the product. It doesn't always have to be testimonials. You could then clone this row down and use it a very similar layout for testimonials. So sometimes it's nice to see the people who are behind the product. Maybe an image of the CEO or the co-founders who have created this product that they're launching. So don't always have to use this as the testimonial section. Going further down we've then included again different background row color and we're bringing in that railway font that you can see here and we've got the headline and then the paragraph text and then the image which you could use of your product that you're selling. You could even use this same image we've got here with the laptop and then you could cut and chop in your own image inside to go inside that laptop screen there. So that's a white section Then going further down we've included another button so you could click on this again take someone straight through to the shopping cart and then going further down we've included sort of a featured icon section so you could use this to cover all the things that are included in your product. These are custom icons they will probably go with most other words if you wanted to change some of the headings that we're using here things like planning winning you could probably find words or these icons could match the words that related to your product or your benefits list that you're creating and this is a three column layout but the individual featured block rows that are put in there and obviously you could change these icons if you wanted to uh, further down again we've included this blue row so it's that blue color coming back in and we've sectioned this off and included another block text with another button so if you had links to other pages or other products you could do that here if they were related products you could use this section or by all means you could remove that and just go down to the next button that we included for the order form. Now you'll notice on this button the first thing we have here is the get started now this could go through to the shopping cart and just below that we've included in another text link which says missed our video. If we click on that it opens up the same overlay optimizer that we had at the top of the page. So this is a nice little touch just to add in underneath and it doesn't always have to be a button it can be a text. So I'll show you that when we jump inside the live editor. Now if we scroll all the way down go to the bottom here you can see that text here and if we open it up 
So rather than choosing a button image, we've told the overlay optimizer at the start that we want to use text. If I go back, you can see here it's a text link. So it doesn't always have to be a custom button. It can be a text link and it looks nice when it's positioned underneath another button. People probably weren't expecting that to open up as an overlay optimizer. So um, it's a nice little touch to use. You don't always have to use the buttons on anything. Uh, let's just go back up to this row that we had at the top here. We have this little icon row here and if I edit the row you can see it's got zero padding top and bottom on it. Now you could make a little semicircle if you wanted or a different shape button for yours with that same blue color but the zero padding is means it means this image sits directly on top of this row and the row above. It doesn't matter about the row above because it's a, a transparent row so it's the same but it sits nicely on this row here so that they join together and it doesn't look odd just obviously sitting on its own with that sort of intention of to direct the person further down the page. So that's the page itself. It's a beautiful sales page. Would go well with pretty much any sort of type of products. And obviously you can switch around these images if you want to. If you want to have a different type of background image, you could change that. But again, it's a beautiful template. It's called Style and it's ready for you to download right now and start using in your pages.